Hi, this is Robert from Part Fusion Electronics. I'm looking at another, an upgrade to my giant LED. I've had some requests to make an RGB version. And I'm looking at using this RGB white white or RGB CCT LED. These are just regular LEDs mounted in a 5x5 LED package. In the center, there's the RGB. Here, the yellow color is a cool white and the orange color is a warm white. So the warm white is a 2700 Kelvin and the cool white is 6500 Kelvin. So the existing giant LEDs only have single color. They're not internally controllable. So the idea is to place, replace this 3528 package with this type of LED and actually have an inbuilt controller, maybe something based around an ESP32 or Zigbee or Bluetooth. My, my preference at the moment is maybe something based around the ESP32. So these types of LEDs are just regular LEDs, so you need some sort of external controller to actually drive them. So they're normally supplied on ribbon strips. So while I was ordering these, the bare chips, I also picked up some of the controllers and I thought it'd be interesting in this video to um, maybe tear them down and see what's going on inside. So the two, the two I have here, I got from the same supplier. Um, so they're both uh, 2.4 gigahertz controllers. So this one has a, a kind of a remote control and the power driver unit and this one is just a second remote control so on the base controller you have your dc input so you have a terminal blocks and you also have a, a dc jack there's a kind of a status indicator led here there's a match button and then you have your voltage out and then you've got your rgb white white return screw terminals on this side I've made up a basic LED strip with three LEDs and constant current regulator to be able to demonstrate the lighting effect. And then you have a remote control. So there's a 2032 battery that's not included in the kit or not included in the controller. The instructions are pretty good. Um, tell you how to wire up and some basic operational instructions. I have 12 volts coming in on the DC jack here. So when you first get the controller, you need to sync it up with the remote control. So you're meant to press the match button and then the power button on the remote control within five seconds. So that's matched up there. Okay, so I've turned off my overhead lights. So I can go into RGB mode and then I can kind of swoop around here to, to go through the different colors. I can change the brightness of this button. If I keep pressing it, and if I press it then I can kind of fade through different brightness levels. And then if I click the CCT, go into white modes and then I can change the, I can go warm white or cool white, or a mixture of both. There's also some kind of preset modes flashing. So you just keep going through the sequences. So this is the second type of remote control. It takes two AA batteries. The programming port is relatively accessible. This has press buttons. This can be synced up with four different LED controllers. Here's a close-up of the LED controller. Front side. And there's the uh, back side of the controller there. So back in the front side, as you can see, there's power and the terminal jacks and the DC jack here. A kind of a resistor, then into a diode. This is an XL1509 50 kilohertz book DC, DC converter. It's, it's five volts. So we then have our inductor, some capacitors. This is a 3.3 volt. I believe it's probably a just a linear regulator. We have our microcontroller here, which is an STM8S105K. So it's an 8-bit, 32 kilobyte flash, 16 megahertz microcontroller. The 12 megahertz crystal there. These four here are almost certainly for programming. This is the RF chip. It's an NSTLT8910. It seems to be a kind of a 
NRF 24L01 clone. Got the antenna. This is our match push button. We've got our status LED. And then on the output, we've got our MOSFETs. So these are a 50N06 N channel. So it's like a 50 amp, 60 volt kind of generic MOSFET. So the positive rail comes in on the left side and goes straight through to the right. This is the ground connection here. That connects into some end channel MOSFETs over here. You can also see what it looks like on the PCB, uh, PCB antenna there. So this is the uh, remote control the main side and then the front side. So this is stuck on in the corners under the sticky was the screws that were screwing it in. So this has a coin cell battery. The microcontroller is an STM 8L151K. So that's an ultra low power version of the STM8. Again, we have our serial programming pins here using the same NST LT8910 RF chip. It's a PCB antenna just here. It's a 12 megahertz crystal as well. Under here we have a, a capacitive kind of touch sense shape for the detecting the kind of circular rotation. There's a status LED there too. You can So here you can see some of the shaping for the capacitive touch sensing for detecting the colors and the brightness. So this, this is the top of the RT10 controller. Domed, it's got like domed buttons and some sort of plastic arrangement for the capacitive touch sensing. So very, very similar to the other remote control. It's also got an STM8L151K microcontroller. It's using the NST LT8910 RF chip. It uses uh, two AAA batteries. So it's got this other chip, which is an IQS263, and that's a capacitive touch sense decoder type chip. So I'm really happy with the quality of the LED controller and the remote controls. I think they could be quite hackable. One, one thing I noticed when I was playing around with the two remote controls is, is if you configure one so if I configure this one to be a, C a CCT, so, so it's controlling the white level of the LED, or the, the color temperature of the LED, I can configure this one to be RGB, and this one will then change the color. But if I then play with this one, it's white. So it, it must be a very simple communication protocol between the controllers, between the remote controls and the controller. As, as I said earlier, I was thinking of maybe using the SP32 type controller, but an NRF24 or something similar to that could actually be quite viable for use in my giant LEDs. Anyway, I'll provide an affiliate link down below for these if you're interested in getting them. Uh, thank you. Bye bye.